we used a third-party laboratory testing service to put an AquaTrue countertop reverse osmosis system to the test. Because I knew we had a number of dangerous contaminants in our water, I wanted to see how well this system dealt with them. If you like seeing water filters tested in real life situations, stick around because you'll be interested to hear about what we found. Before presenting the findings, it's important to note that this test was conducted under real world conditions. It's worth mentioning that the samples were collected from just a single location in Colorado with a limited range of contaminants. We also did not intentionally add contaminants to our water samples, and what you see in the report are the substances coming directly from the tap. And as this is just one single test, it cannot accurately reflect the system's performance under different conditions, or with different contaminants, or the system's performance over a longer period of time. Therefore, it's important to acknowledge that the results are not all-encompassing or definitive. To ensure precise and reliable test results, we followed a strict protocol provided by the lab. First, we filled a bucket with water that was to be used for the sample. Then we swirled it around to make sure it was well mixed and then filled the AquaTrue directly from the bucket. The pre-filtration sample was collected directly from the bucket, while the post-filtration sample was taken from the AquaTrue itself. Looking at the testing data, we'll focus on contaminants based on the simple lab recommendation, SLR Benchmark, which prioritizes human health and is a much stricter guideline than the federal MCL. Our unfiltered sample had elevated levels of uranium at 0.0182 ppm, fluoride at 1.5 ppm, and lead at 0.009 ppm. These contaminants pose multiple health risks and can impact kidney, blood, skeletal, and cardiovascular health, as well as the immune and nervous systems and developmental outcomes. Additionally, there were a few contaminants below the SLR, including barium, copper, molybdenum, nitrate, strontium, sulfate, and zinc. At 112 parts per million, the TDS was actually already in the excellent range, so we had no concerns there. And before I show you how the AquaTrue dealt with these contaminants, I wanna ask you if there are any water filters you'd like to see us test next. Let me know down in the comments. Your suggestions really help us get a good idea of what projects we should prioritize. And if you enjoy videos like this, do me a favor and hit that like button. The AquaTrue did a superb job completely eliminating the most concerning contaminants, uranium fluoride, and lead, as well as all traces of the additional contaminants that were below the SLR as well. The reverse osmosis process is so thorough that it removes not only the bad stuff, but the good stuff as well. So we also saw a reduction of the healthy minerals that were present in the water. Calcium was reduced by 97%, magnesium by 94%, and chloride and sodium were both completely removed. The AquaTrue did an amazing job eliminating almost everything from the water, including minerals that are beneficial to health. If you're looking for a high-performing countertop water purifier, then the AquaTrue is a solid option to consider. You may want to consider using the new AquaTrue Remineralization BOC filter to add those healthy minerals back into the water. If you want to purchase the AquaTrue, there's a link and discount code for you down in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, stick around because there are more water filter testing videos coming up right now.